Hey everyone, my name is Ben with Empower Gaming Computers. This series is the ProTech Tip series. So uh, anything from hardware to software, different scenarios that we think are useful for people to, to watch or learn. We're just here to empower other PC builders. Uh, even if you're a first time builder, we're gonna give you different scenarios uh, with hardware or software uh, that we think is gonna be useful for you. So I hope somebody finds this useful and uh, happy to empower you. Keep building, my friends. Hey guys, Ben with Empower Gaming Computers here. The RGB Leon Lee streamers. Uh, this has been a common question, at least that I see a lot. Um, but it's in the event that your card is the opposite direction or your PCIe pins are flipped around the opposite direction. So when you pull your strimmers out of your box and you go to plug them in, they're actually the wrong way. So your RGB is on the inside, not the outside. Just wanted to show you how to flip the RGB around on the Lian Lee strimmers. This is actually not a very difficult task. Uh, sometimes it can be a pain. Well, most of the time it can be a pain. But for the most part, it's, uh, it's not too difficult. Cool. All right, so let's get started. The so first things first. We want to remove the clip on the back end, the end that is on the uh, power supply end. Uh, to do that, you'll see this little clip here. Push it away. You could probably do it with your finger. Push it away. And then do the same thing with the opposite side. Push it away. And then you flip it around. You'll see that the clip is actually just releasing. Remove that. So that frees up the whole back end of the uh, power supply end, completely free from the cables. So next we can take these uh, clips off, pretty easy to do once you remove those. And the last step is we have to remove the clips from each of these cables, which are three separate clips on this one with the PCIe uh, times three. This is the V2. So to do that, you'll have to flip it around so that the RGB is facing up and you just push this clip in and push it down. I have to do that on both sides, like you did on the other end, smaller clip. Push it in, push it down. Push it in, push it down. The clip will release. Might have to get in there and use your finger and grab it. Now I'm gonna set that cable aside since that's free. And you have to do it for the other two cables. Push it in, push it down. Push it down. And push it in, push it down. Yep. Two, three, push it in, down. That frees up the clip for each of these cables. Now, you'll probably notice. That I kept all three of these cables here uh, organized so you can see they're all facing the way that they came off that way I know I have to flip them or you could just double check it on the card make sure it's the right way but if all I'm going to do is flip the cables around like so and then we're going to take the RGB and put it right back on top and start putting it back together flip same thing instead of Pushing the clips, get it off, uh, line it up, cable, side the clip, RGB, cable, then up, get it in the hole and push it in. Set. Get it in the hole and push it in. Same thing with the other two, plus it keeps bouncing out of your hand like mine. Cable in clip. Fights you like me, like mine. Fights me. Then cable, RGB cable. Push the clips in. Last one. It's okay. We can actually. There's, if the links aren't perfect, you can pull them a little bit to 
fix it. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about getting the clips on there. Don't do it halfway down the cable because that's silly. I want to try to get these as close to the uh, PCIe connection as possible. Hard down as possible. I'll be pulling this cable down just a little bit like that. Just enough so that there's a little bit of wiggle room because these aren't going to connect directly next to one another. They're going to want to sit next to one another as close as possible. There you go. So that's one end. We have one, two, three clips on. The RGB is facing the right way, and our PCI clips are facing the opposite direction now. The last thing we got to do is get the big clip on and put the clear, I guess you can call them cable combs, connected to the cable. I'm going to put this big clip on on one end, though. So I kind of clip it like that. Flip this around, make sure all my RGB power cables are in the spot. Then, with the screwdriver, very gently, because it can be rough, clip might break. Very gently lift up a little bit on it. But you can get that lip over the piece of plastic. Push it in. Thumbs. Verify all your cables are out of the way to do so. Go. One thing I'll call out real quick is when you put this back on, I kept the cables all lined up. So if you are not keeping your cables lined up, you may have a situation where you need to verify what direction this cable goes. Well, this cable wants to be on the side of the power supply. So the cables that are connecting to the power supply, that's the end that you want the hub or RGB connection going to, which is this little dingy cable hanging off the end here, the tail whatever you want to call it. So you want to make sure that's on the power supply end, because if you put it on this end, it's going to be hanging in front of your GPU, and it's going to look ugly. And um, I mean, you could do that. It doesn't matter, but it'll be reversed as well. So when you play with the RGB software and you follow the arrows or the direction of the RGB, and you're just trying to follow the software, everything's going to be backwards. So if you want left to right for your RGB, it's going to be right to left instead of left to right. <laughs> but it'll read left to right. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> so you want to make sure that this is facing the right way. So not only for the software, um, but also for aesthetics so that the cables in the back where it belongs. And then the last thing you want to do is put these clips back on. That's pretty easy to do. Kind of flex it a little bit and put the clip on. So. Pops right on. And there you have it. Your Lian Lee strimmer, 8 pin times 3 uh, V2, has been reversed so that it can connect to the card if the PCIEs are flipped around. So that's how you do it. It's quick and easy, not too painful. But uh, feel free to follow us if you have any other, uh, if you want any other gaming PC tech tips. Uh, especially around the hardware. Thanks, guys. Take care.